Hi, everyone. My name is Jia Wen Liu, and I am from University of California, Merced. My advisor is Professor Dong Li, and we collaborate with Professor Dimitros Nikoporos at Virginia Tech. Today, I'm very glad to present our work, RIANN Real Time Incremental Learning with Approximate Nearest Neighbor on Mobile Devices. Given a set point in a d dimensional space and a curly point, our goal is to find approximate nearest neighbors in the set P. From this figure, you can see that P is the nearest neighbor of the curly point Q uh, compared to other points. The distance between these two points are calculated by some distance function. For example, general uh, Euclidean distance. Approximate nearest neighbor algorithms can be applied for many applications. For example, pattern recognition, uh, statistical classification, cluster analytics, commutational geometric data compression, recommendation systems, and so on. Graph-based ANN uh, algorithm typically builds a graph G based on the geometric properties of points in the dataset P with connecting edge E between the uh, points. During ANN search, given a query point P, the algorithms um, employed a natural greedy traversal on G, starting at the uh, entry point S. The algorithms traverse the graph to move progressively closer to P. HNSW is a state of the art in an algorithm based on the graphs. It builds a hierarchical set of uh, proximity graphs, like layers, for uh, nested subsets of distorted points. The figure on the right shows the workflow of HNSW. The algorithm greatly um, traversed through the elements from the upper layer until a local minimum is reached at the bottom layer. However, real-time incremental learning with ANN on mobile devices present two challenges. For challenges one, most ANN indexing algorithms have difficulty to meet the real-time requirement of either indexing time or record. Some algorithms, for example, NSW and FANNG, require data points in the ANN model to be shuffled before indexing them, which um, easily causes the long latency and violates the real-time requirement. Some algorithms, for example, HNSW, allow incremental learning by using level uh, randomization, which greatly shortens um, the indexing time, but can suffer from low record because of using constant hyperparameters during the incremental learning process. Some algorithms like NSG impose a high requirement on the starting graph, which is time consuming to build during the indexing process. For the second challenge, the current ANN indexing algorithms are executed end-to-end, -end, which means that there is no estimation of indexing time, search time, and record during the indexing process. However, having such online estimation is critical to choose indexing hyperparameters to meet the requirement on a timing and record. Also, the online estimation must be lightweight, which is critical in mobile devices um, with limited hardware resource. Here is the overview of the RNN. First, we generate the training data and indexing data to trade the statistical prediction model in the offline stage. In the online stage, Given a new batch of data, we use the traded statistical prediction model 
with analytical performance models for online prediction. Given user requirements on indexing time, query time, and recall, we use simulated annealing to select the optimal properties to meet the user requirements. We retrieve the optimal and then construction properties and then use the optimal properties to index the ANN on mobile devices. However, for the graph construction algorithms of current ANN models, there is little flexibility. Given batch of data for indexing and there is a variety in the batch size, the existing algorithms use the same hyperparameters for all batches, which makes um, the algorithms meeting the two objective difficulty. To address this problem, we propose a dynamic ANN construction algorithm based on the HNSW to enable distinctive hyperparameters for different data points. As a consequence, to explore the trade-off between the timing and recall to meet the user requirement. Given a query point, the algorithm first selects um, a construction layer by a unified uh, function. Second, the algorithm uh, searches the nearest point to the target point with an search function from the top layer to one layer above the construction layer. Next, the algorithm um, updates the candidate set and builds by, uh, by directional uh, edges between the target point and its neighbors uh, in the candidate set. Step three and four are processed iteratively through the layer L to the bottom layer. Finally, the algorithm inspects the R degree of the neighbor points of the target point and selects the closest out uh, neighbors if the R degree exceeds the boundary constraint. This process can ensure the R degree of all the indexed points does not exceed the R degree constraint. The uh, statistical model is based on the gradient boost decision tree. The model used the following features. Um, three hyperparameters H, uh, namely the number of R degree of each point, the size of candidate list used for indexing, and the size of candidate list used for search. The second one is data set B, which means the batch size and the number of the data points already indexed in the graph. The last one is the corresponding record R. We use XGBoost, which has been successfully used as a strong feature-based model in many problems. We use XGBoost to trade the model on uh, a server and deploy the trading model on mobile devices. To trade the model, we first generate synthetic indexing data. The dimension size of the synthetic indexing data and the distance commutation are the same as those in real user requirement. We then generate a large number of training data based on synthetic data. We choose a common regression loss function for training GBDT. Know that the statistical model cannot be incrementally traded online because the training time is long, like a few minutes. We choose GBDT as our prediction model for two reasons. First, GBDT is good at converting uh, the uh, monotonic nature-based problems to various selective statements for modeling. Our problems um, is monotonic. We observe that the recall of a graph-based ANN monotonously increase when three hyperparameters increase. Second, GBDT can provide a uh, lightweight online model in our case and has potential to provide a higher prediction accuracy compared to other lightweight models, such as uh, the random forest or this support vector machine. 
Actually, both trading with tens of thousands of input data has a fast inference time, which is good for online prediction. Given an ANN graph, a batch of the data points to be indexed, and um, the three hydro parameters. INN use analytical models to predict the worst indexing and search time after the batch is indexed. We do not use a um, statistical model because the analytical model is more lightweight and does not require offline training. Equation one formulate the worst search time in a layer. The first term is a constant representat uh, representation the, of the assessing execution time of calculating the distance between two points. The second term is a function which bounds the expected number of hops in a layer. This function is related to the uh, degree according to the theory of uh, the runnate graph and HNSW. The third term is to calculate the average out degree of the current layer. The product of the second and the third term calculates the maximum number of distance calculation. Based on the equation one, uh, the search time across L layers from the top to the bottom of an ANN model is modeled in equation two. The first term calculates the accumulated search time from the top layer to the second last layer um, with the size of the candidate list as one and the number of the R degree of degree. The second term calculates the search time at the bottom layer with the size of candidate list and the number of R degree. Based on equation two, we model the indexing time of indexing one point in equation three. The formulation of indexing uh, time is similar to that of the search time in equation two, except the consideration of execution time of adding um, the connections and the hyperparameters difference between indexing and search. The time of updating our degree is calculated by F. That depends on the implementation and the linear to the number of the R degree. We use datasets SIF, DIP, GIF for evaluation. SIF and GIF are the datasets of image descriptors, and DIP is a machine learning based uh, set of vectors. We use Samsung S9 as our evaluation platform. Samsung S9 has a, a Snapdragon A45 SoC with 128 uh, gigabyte storage, Android 10, and 4 gigabyte LPDDR4X RAM. We compare RNN with HNSW. We use the ANN construction hyperparameters list in their paper, denoted as default HNSW. The optimal HNSW represents the hyper um, the uh, hypothetical results in which first users uh, know the data size of the ANN indexing, which is impractical. Second, users spend a large um, amount of time to obtain the optimal HNSW. We experiment different batch size, 10, 100, and 1,000 in 10 batches for incremental learning. In this figure, we observe that RANN shows significant performance improvement around 2.6 times speed up on average than the default HNSW. RANN has 18 percentage performance less than the optimal HNSW and RNN maintains the same record and query time compared to the optimal and the default HNSW. In this experiment, we incrementally index 100 batches, and the batch size starts from 10 to 1,000, given indexing time constraints of 
500 millisecond, 375 millisecond, and 250 milliseconds. We observe that 43.7% uh, batches are satisfied using default HNSW, while RINN can satisfy 91.1% with compromising only 3.1% recall. Thank you for listening my talk.